My name is Adolfo Rivero Mueller. Everybody here calls me Adolek, and I'm a scientist at the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at the Medical University of Lublin. Um, <clears throat> my work involves a lot of activities involving creativity and innovating. And everybody always asks where innovation comes from. And they are waiting for the ferry of innovation comes to their shoulder and tell them what to do. But innovation comes at any moment, at any time, and it's an active process. And also it happens when you are doing something else which is not related to your work. For example, when you are cycling or walking your dog or doing something else, cooking in the morning. <clears throat> and most importantly, creativity and innovation comes and gets improved when you discuss it among people you trust, with friends, when you can express ideas together, when they express their ideas and every single time you do this routine, it gets better and better. And then you, <laughs> you have those days where you feel your brain is being eaten <clears throat> and the people you should discuss things with is those that are not afraid to tell you if you are wrong, if they believe this is totally uh, impossible, but also those who are always encouraging, trying to make things better, trying to help you so they are honest to you and you can trust them. These usually become your collaborators for a large part of your life. And science is never done by a single person. Science is done as groups, usually large groups of people. And the merrier, and the more we work together, the better too. Ideas also come by when you go to listen to other people's lectures or when you give lectures to people. Sometimes when you try to explain something, then you realize you either don't know it so well, so nobody understands what you're saying, or you realize that actually that an idea can come up at any particular moment when you're explaining to somebody. And then you have to try, see if it works, and sometimes works, and sometimes doesn't. So you have to be ready to fail. <laughs>